Hi guys, so today we're going to be working on the biggest muscle in your body. What is the biggest muscle in your body? That would be your glute max. That is where you're going to get your power. That is also where you're going to get the stability for your low back and pelvis. There are no, no muscles that cross the joints in your sacrum where a lot of people get SI discomfort and pain or low back pain and a lot of times that can be caused by an inactive or weak gluteus maximus because those are your big butt cheek support muscles that are going to be holding everything together. They connect your top half to your bottom half and give you your power when you're running, squatting, jumping, doing everything in your daily life. So we want to make sure they're active. So the, one of the best ways we can do that is with the glute bridge. This is a standard glute activation exercise as well as a great way to integrate the glutes into core stability and we'll get into that. So we'll do some sequence here. We'll start off with just the regular glute bridge and then we'll go into the variations to make it more advanced if you wanna get a little bit trickier and explore some new options. So the first one here is gonna be the basics. We're gonna lay on the ground. We're gonna activate our core, keep our core nice and tight so we're gonna tuck our ribs. We're gonna place our feet, heels, Somewhere close to the butt, not too close, but not too far away either. So we're gonna be somewhere in the middle where we're comfortable. We're gonna find a nice neutral pelvis. If you don't know what neutral pelvis is, then watch the video on neutral pelvis. We're gonna find a nice neutral pelvis, activate the core, breathe, and then we're gonna press up. We're gonna press up through our heels, and we're gonna press our hip bones to the ceiling and we're going to use our glutes to do that. So we're going to press and we're going to try to get our whole core to come up in one unit. So we don't want to, we don't want our spine to come up one at a time. We want to come up just in one unit. We want to bend at the hips. So it's a hip hinge. So we're practicing a hip hinge exercise right now. The glutes are what's helping the hips to hinge. And so we want to practice a hip Hinge, did I say hip hinge enough? Hip hinge. So we're here and we just wanna bring the hips up and press them to the sky. And when we get to the top, we want our glutes on. So you can come down here, you can punch them. It's called goading, goad your glutes or poke into them. And then once you come down, you still want to hinge and you wanna come down with a solid core. And then you press up. And when you're at the top, you're pressing up. A lot of people will stop a little bit shy here. So they'll stop too soon and they'll come down and they'll do this. And they're missing out on all of this. And your glutes really are activated in hip extension. Hip extension is when your hips are pressed all the way up and it actually is extending or pressing back. You don't have much hip extension in your hip. This is your hip. This is your sacrum SI, so in your hips, so this is hips. So you're thinking about your flexing right here. Down, straight line. So right here is where you're focusing that motion of hinging right there. A lot of people will use their low back for their hinge. So a low back hinge would be like this, where you're using the low back. So keep this all together and straight. So, just at the hips. Not this worm type thing. No worm. So once we have mastered just this, start up, sets of 10 is great. So just doing sets of 10 on this glute bridge is wonderful. Come here, up, my glutes are burning now. Yours will be too shortly and then we can start working on core stability with the glutes activated. And one of the easiest ways and best ways to do that is at first, just try to pick up one foot and then try to pick up another foot. And what you'll find is as soon as you pick that foot up, your body will want to dump and it will want to go sideways. And that's a lack of core stability. And so you can gauge how good your core is activated by if you can do that, if you can pick that up and you don't dump, because this is what is called counter-rotation. 
where your body wants to rotate this way because there's no stability. So instead, you have to counter that rotation with your core activation. Holding. The next step after you can just march in place is you can lift one foot up, extend your leg, bring it back. Lift the other foot up, extend, bring it back. Now after that, we can get into up, extend, one leg down, up, back. Lift the leg up, down, up, making sure that we're not dumping at any time during this. Keeping it very stable. Up. Whew. So, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you get your glutes burning. Keep your optimal self aligned. Eat right, think right, move right. If you like this video, subscribe. We got plenty more describing how the body works and how you can work better.